This question is all about proportion and making things equal. The scientist counts 50 ducks in a pond and he puts a tag on them all. And the next day he counts 40 ducks, 12 of which have tags on. We need to use this information to estimate how many ducks are in the pond. So I'm going to start by writing these as fractions. On the first day, the scientist counts 50 ducks. Now we don't know how many there are all together, so it's 50 out of an unknown number. Now the next day, he counts 40 ducks, 12 of which have got tags on. So on the second day, 12 out of 40 have got tags on. Now we can say that these fractions are equal, because in theory the same proportion would have tags on on the second day as the scientists would have collected on the first day out of the whole population. So I can use any mathematical method to solve this now. I may multiply the left hand side by 40 and then divide by 12. Or we can think about it as equivalent fractions. Or we can think about them as a percentage or anything else. I'm going to think about this one as a percentage. Now 12 out of 40 is the same as as 30% because 4 out of 40 would be 10% 8 would be 20 and 12 would be 30% so I need to make this side equal to 30% so 50 out of what is equivalent to 30% well if 50 equals 30% if I divide that by 3 I work out that 10% is, 50 divided by 3 is 16.66, or 0.6 recurring. And then if I times that by 10, I work out that 100% is 166.6 recurring. Now, we can't have 166.6 recurring, so I'm going to round that up to 167. And that's my answer. So another way of doing it, which I'll do in green, is to think about making these fractions equivalent. So whatever I've multiplied this fraction by, I need to do the same underneath. So 12 multiplied by what makes 50? Well, 50 divided by 12 would help us there. Which is 4.16 recurring. OK, so I've got to do exactly the same on the bottom make, to make these fractions equivalent. So I've got to multiply 40 by 4.16 recurring, and that also gives me 167 ducks to start with. So either way, it's just about thinking about the proportion that were captured on one day, the proportion on the other day, and trying to make these equal to work out the missing number. OK, so here's a question for you to do. Pause before we go through the answer. OK, let's write those fractions out for day one and day two. So on day one, he counted 80 out of an unknown number altogether. And that's what we're trying to work out, how many fish are in the lake. On the second day, he counted 60, and 24 of them had been marked. So on day one, 80 out of unknown were marked. On day 2, 24 out of 60 were marked. So we know that these fractions are equivalent. So let's try and work it out as a percentage first of all. Well, 24 out of 60, 10% of 60 is 6, 20% is 12, 30% is 18, 24 is equal to 40%. Okay, so this fraction here is worth 40%, 24 out of 60, we need to make the fraction on the left also equal to 40%. So if 80 out of something equals 40%, if we divide that by 4, we'll work out that 20 equals 10%, and if we times that by 10, we will work out that 200 is the 100% value. That's And that's how many fish there are in total 200. So of course the other way to have done it would be to make these fractions equivalent. I'll show this method as well. So first of all we need to know what we've multiplied the 24 by to get 80 and whatever we've got we'll then multiply the bottom by the same. So to work out what we multiply 24 by to get 80 we'll do 80 divided by 24 which is 3.3 recurring 
So I'll also have to multiply the bottom, the 60 by 3.3 .3 recurring, and 60 multiplied by 3.3 .3 recurring is also 200. And that's the end of the question.